Haha. Mm-hmm. What's up, y'all? What is popping, everybody? Yes, indeed. It is on and popping. It is on and popping. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage of history. I am your illustrious host, Kevin Uncanny Anytime. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it, y'all. How is the day? Um, so I thought of this topic just today, right? Um, here's what happened. So I woke up. Woke up pretty early. I was I was really surprised. I was really happy about that too. First of all, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is what's up. I woke up at like four in the morning. I'm like, okay, Kev, here we go. We got some rest. Okay. So I see now this is gonna be a trend when I don't um don't have to watch Cupcake because we uh me and Cupcake's mom figured out a, a deal where I'm kinda I'm like off Wednesdays, right? To where I don't mess around with her with a uh, cupcake too much at night and so uh in that process i get some really deep sleep like i mean it was a lot of things that happened today i was i was really on in basketball even though i'm extremely critical over myself i was trying to make every single shot <laughs> like every single shot every single shot i wasn't trying to miss not one shot and for a while it was working it was tripping me out. I'm like, okay, but then it's that, you know, it's that, oh, you start tripping, you start overthinking, different things happen, and that's what kind of hinders the process, right? Because then I miss, and I was like, dang, I'm like trying to go in, literally like, nope, I'm not missing nothing. Like, that's the type of, that's the type of mentality I'm coming with. And so the reason why I was talking about intentions today is because it's like, well, what was the, what was the reason for that, kid? What was the intentions behind that? And the intentions behind that was to give it everything I got, give that moment, that training, that physical fitness, everything I got in that time frame. <clears throat> That's what it was for. That's what it was for. And each and every time I wake up, I do my best to thank God for waking me up and let him know, look, I'm finna, when I go out here, it's for you. I'm finna go out here and do everything possible to stretch my body, my mind, and everything in in each and every way. Cause cause really now basketball is, is a form of mental exercise for me. Um, and, and I'm gonna dive deep into some some health stuff, some some health and wellness, and some uh, some physical fitness stuff uh, as far as intention go, right? Cause there's a particular way that I work out, which is what makes me look the way that I look. Um, it's probably not really understood by a lot of people. Some people think you just got to throw up a bunch of heavy weights and your body is going to change, but it's way deeper than that. And I started realizing that when I started going subatomic, I'm like, oh, okay, it's much more than just lifting heavy stuff and allowing your body to change. You got to actually be intentional with what you're doing so that it changes the way that you want it to change. It's, it's, it's the universal law of everything, y'all, everything. The, the, there's so much that we have to look at that correlates to our living experience, okay? And that's one of them. And it's like people want to manifest business. They want to manifest money. They want to manifest houses, cars, all this other outside physical stuff, but they're not focusing on this. They're not focusing on this, right? Mind, body, soul connection is first, which is why I created Mindset Matters is because that is the foundation. That is the key to truly living a fulfilled experience of this living thing that you're going through, right? If that is the key to really, really enjoy what's cracking and when you go through your day-to-day -day activities, it's to really get in here and figure out what's up. Okay, so here's here's the deal, right? So, uh, right, I'm I'm doing all of this workout. I'm I'm on, right? And like I said, I'm I'm like I'm going out for God. And nobody else, because nobody else is watching me. Nobody else is watching me. There's nobody else out there. I've said that multiple times before. So let me move forward. Um, 
the intention behind it is to give this experience everything in my being, right? Everything in my being while I'm here. So if I'm working out, it's like, okay, I'm about to work out. I'm sweating. I'm drinking. If you ever see me, I am dripping, right? Dripping. Because I'm, first of all, I'm doing the workout that I really love to do. Okay. And I'm, I'm getting in some very mental challenging tasks in this process. Okay. Basketball is not just a, a fun, oh, let's play a sport and let's do, no, it's mentally challenging. The, the way I warm up is I warm up my mind first. I dribble the ball walking forward through my legs forward. Okay. Through the legs, through the legs, through the legs, through the legs, through the legs. Then I walk backwards through the legs, through the legs, through the legs, through the legs. That is challenging my brain to continue that pattern, to recognize where the ball is, to, to have my mind say, hand, go over here because the ball's going to land here. Like backwards, forwards, that's challenging my brain. I'm challenging my brain each and every day I go out there. The layups, the shots, everything is challenging my mind. That is why I do it. That's why a lot of basketball players, if you see, they they pretty they stay pretty healthy for a long time. For a long time. It's because that constantly challenges your brain to where's the basketball? To your there's so many different things happening in your mind that it's causing your brain to exercise over and over and over again. And there's, especially when you play with different people, there's multiple different things that are going on in your head simultaneously, y'all. Okay, so please, please understand this. All right, this is crucial to understand. Find something of that nature to exercise your brain every single day like that because it's absolutely necessary to keep the the this muscle up here this this tissue this whatever this is up here that helps everything to operate it helps it to stay vibrant it helps it to stay youthful it helps it to stay sharp that is the focus so what do i do when i'm going to play basketball i'm super intentional what did i say i was like i'm trying to make every shot <laughs> this pretty much it's i'm pretty much going for impossible tasks on purpose what is the intention behind it because i'm literally trying to stretch my mind as far as it possibly can go so I'm literally going into this knowing, okay, yeah, this is probably impossible, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to make sure I keep my form and shoot the basketball the exact same way, given fatigue, given uh, just all different type of factors, the stamina, everything. I'm like, make every shot during this time you're playing. That's, that's very challenging. That's incredibly challenging. But the intention behind it is to make sure that I'm keeping my mind sharp to be able to do the things that I am trying to do, to build the programs that I'm trying to build, to speak to people, to try and help them the way that I'm trying to help them. I just spoke. It's, it's interesting because it's like there are things that I want to do to go further. And, and I was speaking with... Uh, what is it? UW um, University of Phoenix. I was speaking with University of Phoenix. I'm looking to do the bachelor program in psychology because it's like that's that's all I do. That's 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 my brain cells. OK, it's just I'm in psychology mode, like I'm trying to analyze people, behaviors, thinking, all of that. So I'm like, OK, um, it's, let me see what they got to offer, because I'm doing a lot on my own. But let's see what the what the instructions have. Let's see what's going on with this and, and really dive into it. What are the intentions? Right. What are the intentions It's to really try and be effective in helping 
and helping people to understand that they have ridiculous power inside themselves because I really truly want to see so at the end of the day I guess it's kind of selfish because I really truly want to see the different abilities that people have the super deep hidden potential that 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 an individual has and then when they get to showcase it I'm I'm excited to see it it's that it's it fascinates me because I only have a specific skill set based off of what I've been doing for my existence, right? I do believe I can do anything, but what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What have I been grooming myself to do is different from a lot of different people. And so to see other things that I still enjoy, but I might not necessarily want to do is what I'm looking for, right? And I believe that that will bring you joy. Right. That will bring you satisfaction that will help you to really understand like, oh, OK, no, this thing, this thing called life is pretty freaking interesting, man. We can do some really nice, amazing things here. And that's that's the key, y'all. So then after after I'm you know playing basketball for so long, I'm like, OK, today, ab day, let's get it today, ab day, let's get it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm like, no, I don't want to do this. But I'm like, no, okay. So there are times where, and I want you guys to try this, okay? There are times where I'm like, mm, don't really feel like going extra fast, extra hard. So I'm real slow. Shout out to Coach George, man. Coach George, if he ever watched this, dude. Coach George used to used to be like, we'll do the elevator push-ups. And he'll be like, slow, slow, slow down on the way down. Slow, slow, slow on the way up. That used to kill me, man. I was loving that that challenge. And so I I consistently adopt that. Because the slow movement, I'm doing the ab cruncher machine and I'm slowly crunching. I'm extremely intentional. So now if I take my shirt off, it's going to look like I, I, I got abs. And then it's like, OK, well, how did he get those? It's because I'm intentional. I'm being super intentional. It's not just, oh, OK, oh, I got to go through these motions so that I get this. It's like, no. No, I'm like, okay, it's, it's, I'm working my abs, so it's time to focus on the abs. So let me look. Okay, let me let me go slow. Let me really get into what I'm doing. Okay, let me really focus on the, the crunch. You know, let me breathe. Let me make sure I'm breathing. <gasps> breathing in as I'm going up. <sighs> breathing out as I'm crunching down. Trying to do as many as I can. Letting it hurt and then being like, okay, get in a couple more because it's hurting real bad. Intentions, y'all. Intentional, man. So it's like, I, and I don't even showcase a lot of it. It's like I could easily just go on here and be like, oh, okay, like taking a bunch of pictures with my shirt off and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, because I'm putting in work. That's not, but that's not, it's just something that doesn't interest me. I don't really, I don't really care. I barely look at myself every day, y'all, as far as the progress that's happening. I'll look every once in a while and be like, oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's doing its thing. It's doing what it's supposed to do. But for the most part, I don't even look in the mirror a lot. I don't even look in the mirror a lot. Dead serious. Dead serious. I, I literally go throughout my day some days. I wake up and I just leave. <laughs> I don't even look in the mirror, dude, because it's not about that. It's not about that, man. It's about can I be consistent in doing this activity for an extended period of time so that I can be effective out here in this living experience. That's what it's about. I don't care how I look. I don't care how I look. I really don't. It's about the, the the mechanics. It's about the the brain strengthening tasks that I'm continuously doing every single day. That's what it's about. So that's what I'm saying. Like when, when we ask ourselves, y'all, what are the intentions? What are you doing it for? Even when you, when you shoot a comment, when you shoot a comment on somebody's page, think about it. What are your intentions? What are you trying to do? Are you mad? Are you upset? Are you, you know, are you jealous? Are you happy? Are you joyful? Um, for instance, check this out. So like now when I see, because I'm, I'm really looking for a really good relationship, right? Anytime I see anniversaries, weddings, like a couple things. I'm like, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. It's intentional. Cause why? Because the energy you put out is the energy you get back. So I'm investing, I'm investing energy into these things, right? 
So when I say congratulations on your anniversary or on your wedding or on your baby, new baby or baby shower, whatever the case may be, that's intentional. That's intentional. It's not just, oh, yeah, oh God, this is, uh, let me just say hi and let me just say great just to just to do something or, or to, you know, show that I'm, I'm watching them or whatever the case. No, no, it's very intentional. It's like I'm like, yep, this is the energy that I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. If I see a happy couple and they look happy and they feel in it and I feel that vibration, I'm like, I'm loving this because I'm looking for that energy. It's intentional. It's very intentional. Right. When I shoot a comment and I'm and I'm and it may be a little off and I'm like, hey, you know, chill out with that. Or this is this is, you know, this is kind of where, where's your mind going with this? Or I'm asking questions or I'm saying something that might not be as as Kevin esque. Right. Not super positive or whatever the case may be. It's a real challenge. Like, yo, what you what you got going on? Like, what are you doing? You know, it's intentional. Because I'm like, yo, come on, snap out of it. Let's let's go. Let's get it. I, I get it. We all go through these times where it's like we got to vent real quick. But come on now. Let's get it together. Right. I'm trying to make every shot, though. You see what I'm saying? That's why I, that's why when I do that, it's, it, my intentions aren't to, to make a person feel bad or anything like that. It's like because I'm trying to go in. I'm trying to go in, y'all. Legendary. I'm trying to go legendary with that. And I don't have to have a whole big crowd or nothing. I'm trying to go legendary within myself, within myself, y'all. That is what began the Mindset Matters Institute is because I'm like, yo, people, if they feel like this, this is different. This is a different feeling, man. And I wonder if people felt like this, how they would conduct themselves in life. To feel like, yo, I'm trying to go legendary every day. What, what does that do? What does that do for others? I know what it do, does for me. I'm waking up ready to go. Like, okay. And then the days that I'm not ready to go, when I finally, when I get up and go through the automatic process of, hey, let me get to the gym. Let me at least get there. And then I get there and I'm like, okay, let's not go through the motions. Let's, let's do this. That's a great after I get done, I'm like, OK, gave it all you got in there one. OK, but then there's a whole bunch of different stuff. I got to put up posts. I got to try and manage the store. I'm putting up YouTube videos. I'm going live. I'm managing the Mindset Matters Institute when people are posting the recaps uh, all, just a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm trying to make sure I'm um, doing the best I can for my, my son, my daughter, um, their mom, my mom, uh, everything everything y'all and is it is it overly taxing sometimes is it like oh my goodness this is a lot yeah but what what am i asking for what was my intentions to begin with it was to go freaking legendary it was to go legendary so it's like i'm not asking you to do this i'm not really even trying to to, to sail anybody into doing it i'm looking for the ones that's like this is where this resonates this resonates. I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to see what this is about. It ain't about sales for me. It ain't about gaining a bunch of, oh, so, so I can line my pockets so that I can, I can help them that way. No, I don't, I don't really, I don't really believe I need to get to that. I think that's going to automatically come, but my intentions, my intentions of putting the energy into the people to make it sure, yo, y'all going through the program, yo, you feel like your recap, hey, how you feeling today? Like, what's up? Like, I'm serious about this thing that I created because I really do believe it will help you if you be consistent at it. And and I, I'm only going to know if, if somebody go through the whole process and they actually do it. So I'm really trying to see what's up. I'm really trying to see what's up. I'm like, is this changing you? How do you feel? What's up? What is it? So what are your intentions, y'all? What are your intentions, y'all? That's what I'm saying. For me, it's like, pfft, I'm trying to see what's up, man. I'm trying to see what's up. And I, and I told y'all, like me personally, it, it has nothing to do with nobody else. I'm going into legendary mode. OK, and I don't need a, I don't need the accolades. I don't need none of that extra stuff to know what I'm doing in my day. That's a powerful man. That's a you know, you walk into places and they can feel that. That's a whole different energy. 
And when I've carried myself like that in places, it really, it, it shook people. And I can see it. I can feel it. I can tell. And it's like, am I trying to do that? No, I'm trying to show you what you could be doing as well. And if we all joined in in that line of thinking, what are the possibilities in life? What really can happen? How can we start repairing all of these different things that need to be repaired in our living experience? You see what I'm saying? Like, so I get I get focused. I get it's like I go into this um, this serious mode, right? When I'm um, when I'm trying to shoot shots and I'm trying to make everything, I'm like I literally tell myself, I'm like, yep, serious, serious. I jump up, I'm like, serious. It's like I'm I'm doing the I'm doing the focused thought, y'all. I, I didn't I didn't incorporate basketball into the program, but I probably will, which is interesting. I probably will incorporate some basketball into the the main the mindset matters program that I'm building because it's freaking it's crazy, man. It's crazy how it challenges your mind and the things that you can do. Um, from the dribbling to the shooting mechanics to the jumping to the um, layups to just all of it, free throws, every single thing about it challenges you if you really want to go into that realm. But you can do that with a lot of things. You can do that with, with all of the sports, all of the sports you can do that in. So whatever sport resonates with you, um, I highly recommend really challenging yourself in that area. But it's got to be something, you know, when you can do something physical, it's a it's a different mind body connection. It's a totally different mind body connection. It makes you feel more you. And that's why physical fitness is important is because when you're able See what I'm saying? When you're able, when you're maneuvering, you're you're able to do things, pick up, maneuver fast, feel nimble. That changes who you are. It totally changes who you are, man. You feel different. You feel powerful. It's a part of you, right? You're walking around carrying this thing. It's, you should really, you should really go in on it. And really try and maintain it and really try and see, you know, what are the limitations, the physical, the physical uh, limits of, of what you can do. It's, it's, it's just a different feeling. So that's part of that's part of what I'm going to. Um, that's part of what I'm going to really be going into. Um, it's, it's, it's really going to be very, very detailed. Um, I'm, I'm taking my time with it, y'all, just like the see what and that's what I'm saying just like the the workouts you see what i'm saying i'm not just throwing all oh, okay his program is this and i'm just throwing up a whole bunch of stuff because that ain't that ain't gonna change that ain't really gonna change nothing you know i've experienced that and it didn't really change anything you know you're spinning your wheels over and over again but if you really focusing in like okay what is this program doing? How is people responding to it when they go through it? How can I make this better in the process? And then this new program that I'm building, how can I be methodical? How can I, how can I make it better? How can I make it faster, stronger, smarter, all of that in the process so that people can get that, what, that extra out of themselves? You got to want to pull that extra out of yourself, man. Otherwise, you're going to feel you're going to go through those mood swings. You're going to go through the motions. You're going to feel those those bad vibes and those bad days and this, different stuff like that. you got to go into a mode. And it's, it's so many different things that you can do this in, y'all. If you if you draw like cool was drawing his, himself the other day, if you are if you're an artist and you draw or if you have any little skill of that and that's what you want to focus on, go in on it. Go in on it, really focus in and be like, okay, I'm going to try to make this better than the last one. Every single one, try to make it better than the last one, right? And and that's going to keep you strong. It's going to keep you sharp up here for as long as you possibly can, right? Because it's continuously stretching that muscle, continuously building those cells, those new neural connections, 
That's what keeps you young. That's what keeps you nimble. That's what really truly keeps the, the that's what makes the structure of your body look the way it does is when you're intentional about it. When you're really intentional about it, you got to so you got to be intentional with your life. You got to be intentional with your life. You got to really wake up like, OK, I'm woke. I'm here. I'm up. I'm living. I, I now am going to go through this experience like, OK, let's go. Right. So really, really ask yourself this, y'all. What are your intentions every single day? What are my intentions? What are my intentions? And it's not going to be, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Sometimes you might rub people the wrong way. Sometimes you may not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All that matters is how you are going into life, how you are presenting yourself and, and the feeling that you feel from going through the experience the, with that particular intention of I'm waking up on purpose. I'm waking up on purpose. And that's going to give you a, a sense of of meaning, of, of fulfillment in what is going on. Then you start making decisions of, OK, well, what what is on purpose mean? What is this about? Where am I going? Right. I'm jumping out there, doing some scary stuff. Starting stuff, getting laughed at, getting ridiculed. Who cares, man? Who cares? You got you got a specific amount of time, supposedly, to figure this stuff out, dude. And it's like, come on, man. As far as we know it right now, you got a specific amount of time to figure this stuff out, figure out what you want to do, figure out how you want to go through this, how you want to live. So every day is a choice. I freaking, I really, really enjoy basketball. And so that's why I'm playing it by myself. I'm using it as exercise now every day because I really, really enjoy it. That's something that's going to be a staple in my life for an incredibly long time. So identify with things, figure out what is that with you? What, what do you have that does that? What do you have that that feels that? What are your hobbies? That's part of the program, y'all. I, I ask you that for real. It's in it's one of the last um, it's one of the last parts of the of the elements of life, y'all. I ask you it's every day I ask you a deep thinking question. And I'm like, what's up? Come on, because I want I want you to really ask yourself these things. Really, really figure out what is what's going on here. What are my hobbies? What do I like doing? What do I not like doing? What do I want to see? What do I want to do? What's really happening? Those are really important questions to ask yourself. All right. Um, but yeah, um, thank you, Viva Tampa Bay Homes. I I don't know who you are, but I appreciate y'all. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get done, man. I'm a, I'm gonna get done here. Uh, but I just wanted to. I wanted to, you know, shake y'all up a little bit, man, uh, for real, because it's like, what what are the intentions? What are we doing? You know, what what's what's all this for? What is it for? What am I, you know, am I building this program just to, you know, just to get money? You know, saying what I'm saying, like, obviously, OK, I got to figure out a way to sustain myself and my family. Right. It's like, that's fine. But pff, telling you, man, I just really I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It's like I really care about what people want to do. And sometimes that causes resistance because I'm like really trying to help people to understand like, look, man, you know, I've been through a, a lot of experience things. And initially I was an individual who just read stuff and was like, yo, OK, I'll give you advice. And it's like, yo, I did this, but I didn't really go through it. And now I'm combining the two which changes the changes the whole game. It changes the entire game. Okay? The application of the information and now putting it that into practice is what changes the game. And it'll change the game for you. You know, it's like people have a lot of health advice, but are they actually really doing the the healthy things that they're recommending to you? And it's like the it may the advice may be valid, y'all, straight up. Okay? The advice may be super valid. But it's something about the energy of it that it sometimes isn't as effective because the the energetic 
output of it isn't fully complete. It isn't fully complete. It's just informational of what I've heard from this source. It's not, this is what I heard from this source. I, I learned it and then I applied it and then I saw the effects of what it could possibly produce. Here's why I'm recommending this to you. That changes everything, y'all. First, and, and I don't really know why energetically in our minds, the frequency that we transfer when we communicate, but it's the truth though. And I, I had to figure that out the hard way because I used to give a lot of advice of stuff that I just, I knew out of information, out of recommendation, out of things that I read. And then I start putting it in like, okay, let's go ahead and put this movie in. Let's see how it works. And that's what changed everything. It's got to be the two. It can't just be living experience. It can't just be living experience. It's got to be both because we we learn through other experiences, through other people's ideas, which is why I'm so adamant about this program is because I want to activate that out of people. I'm trying to get the extra out of them. I want to see the new information they create. I'm fascinated with it. I'm fascinated with the process. That's all I'm saying. So um, some some good information, y'all. Just some uh, some real quick updates is uh, I interviewed Sarah Loomis. Y'all, if you don't know Sarah Loomis, um, look her up on Instagram as Sarah M. Loomis. Uh, I, th I believe she says she's on TikTok as Sarah Loomis. Um, we did an interview. She's a holistic health expert. And so I got her in the interviews for the books for next Tuesday. Um, so, so after I go live later that day, I'll be posting that. So look out for that. That's going to be what's up. Um, we will have open enrollment for the Mindset Matters Institute and program um, next month. Right now, we got the class going through it. I want to see how they how they go through it and do any modifications, any upgrades that I can. Then we're going to have the open enrollment for the next class. Um, so keep that in mind. And then, um, oh, yeah, obviously go to mindsetmatters.store or mass, mindsetmattersmore.store. The link is in the description. Okay, mindset matters more dot store and, and check out the gear. See what you want to do. Never leave home without your crown on. Okay, because it's like you got to walk out here knowing you born rich, man, like the Bob Proctor dude. That's, you know, one of the one of the initial programs too that woke me all the way up was his born rich program. I'm like, oh, that's an interesting concept. Yeah, you born, you are born rich, rich with potential. OK, with all type of potential. And so that made me think about, you know, well, actually, I, I, I hit the dude up on Fiverr and he came up with this with the two M's. Like I was tripped out when he came out with it. I was like, yo, the crown level up. Yeah, <laughs> that's the level up symbol right there. I'm looking for a super symbol and that this is it. This is it. I now I was like, it's weird because when he made it, I was like. That's it, yo. Like, okay, that's it. I think I made him do maybe one revision, but I was like, dog, that's it. Like, I'm standing behind that one. I'm, and I'm super appreciative that he created it, right? And I'm like, that's what I'm rolling with the crown out of the two M's mindset matter. And then, so the whole, the whole, how all of this happened, y'all. My goodness, man, it's meant to be, man. That's why I'm just going through the process. You know, it's going to be ups. It's going to be downs. It's going to be left turns. It's going to be, you know, maybe a couple spins. But this is it. <laughs> Michael Jackson, y'all, I'm telling you, this is it, man. This is it. I, it's, it's, I've never been able to express myself this fully into something that is collapsed into reality like this. Like mindset matters and then the crown. And then I'm like. Yo, we found it. <laughs> we found it. Let's run with that. This is it. This is how it's this is how it's trending. All right. Um, and, and that's that's a great feeling, y'all. And I want you to feel that in some form or fashion. I want you to feel that, man. Um, because even though I'm I'm selfish and wanting to see what you got, I I I am selfless in wanting you to experience this feeling that I have with that type of 
solidified creation collapsing into reality. It's 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 freaking ah oh man. It's it, I can't really describe the feeling behind it. It's just like this is this is me. This is mine. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Um so yeah. Um so so look out for that. Um and then uh yeah. If you want to take a small assessment, again, if you're first watching this for the first time, there is an assessment down below, the concentrated strength assessment. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the program. Even if you do that every day, y'all, it's going to change your life. I'm telling you, you're going to start, you're going to start waking up. I'm, I will be activating the powers within you. If you do the concentrated strength assessment every day, because that's... That's what happens. So I put this program together real quick to end this. I put this program together with different things that I was doing, but those those things that I only have available in a week, I was doing for like 90 days, y'all, straight to really see what it was doing, to really see what it was doing. So this concentrated strength, I give you a week because it's in a, in a program. I didn't want to make the program a year long. It's in a program. That, that allows you to experience it for seven days. Then when we go through the next month, you can habit stack one of your favorite things into the next month with the new activities that you're doing, right? And that allows you to grab the one that you really resonated with and be like, I want to continue that on and see how far I can go in that. And, and the concentrated strength, it's how I'm able to focus on the camera, so intently, sometimes that's difficult for people. Sometimes it's not. It doesn't matter. But that that it it allows me to connect better. It allows me to connect better. It allows me to focus, and it, it transcends to even tasks and and um, blocking time and focus and waking up and and going to the gym every morning five days a week. Like it it all works in in line with that. All right. And there's a lot of different things that I have in there that that multiply that it multiplies that. Y'all, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, dude, like this is what I went through. It's my life, man. So um, if you if you look at me and you think like, oh, well, you know, Kev's athletic, Kev's do this, Kev's got this, whatever the case may be. Kev talks a good game, whatever the case may be. It's because of the these practices that I put in the program. Like straight up, I had to go and experience these things. And I picked it from different places, from Joe Dispenza, from this dude, John Asarath, from um, Jim Rohn to, you know, Bob Proctor stuff. It's, it's a whole bunch of different culminations of things that I just made it mine. I just made it mine. And I was like, this is how I would want to go through it if I'm going to go through it. Um, so, yeah, didn't want to go too long, y'all be going in when i'm excited about stuff when i'm excited about a topic but um yeah love you guys very 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 much all right thank you for sharing your energy with me thanks for being on the show um appreciate it again we on here every tuesday and thursday at 7 30 in the morning arizona time um so look out for the next interviews i'm, I'm looking for interviews too if you want to be interviewed hit me up somehow on, on one of the platforms um and we can talk mindset i love having conversations with people um so yeah we'll just we'll leave it at that all right so remember mindset matters y'all mindset matters more than anything else all right focus on the good all right and make the day fantastic all right it's in your hands make the day fantastic love you guys again anytime or wait let me see if there's any questions any questions y'all any questions all right let me just read some comments because I'm, I'm sorry i'll be going in and it's a long time and i don't be meaning to go that long sometimes man but i'll be going long uh greetings inez um thank you for being on here viva tampa bay homes living a journey um whoever this is yes sir that's what matters it says facebook user so i'm not sure um but what's up brandon crazy legs how you doing uh vacation the mind not just the body appreciate you kev thank you thank you for the comments y'all thank you for being here thank y'all for being on here all right appreciate the hearts the love all of this stuff man um so yeah y'all let's let's do it let's do it let's 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 walk with intention let's walk with purpose all right all right now i'm gonna sign off y'all anytime out